Hello, my name's Jendo, and today I'm going to show you how to build an AND gate. These are very compact and small and quick to build and uh, ever so useful. Uh, the basic idea is, is when you've got two inputs that are activated, you get a signal. And uh, at any time uh, they're not activated, or only one is activated, you get no signal. These are uh, pretty useful. You can use them for doors. You see here, uh, when we've got no signal, or just one of them active, the door remains shut. But say if you want to have combination lock or two hidden input methods, maybe double the security on your hidden door. Uh, once both have been activated, the door will open. This is a logic gate and uh, has a truth table. And uh, if you see there, the only time the uh, the output is active is when input one is active and input two is active. And you can see this here with the lights. Input one active, input two active, we get an output signal. Any other combination. And uh, we've got no signal on the output. See? And then we get an output signal again because input one, input two is active. All right, so these are simple to build. You're gonna need three blocks put a redstone torch on the end block and that end block redstone dust in the middle there and lastly a uh, redstone torch on the middle block now this is your output so we use a lamp there and uh, your input are the two end blocks so uh, yeah we just use levers for those and when both those levers are active we get a signal Right, I'm now going to show you how to build a NAND gate. It's the same as the AND gate, but the output is inverted. So all that means is that uh, if both input 1 and input 2 are active, then we don't get a signal. Any other combination, then we do get a signal. So it's completely the opposite of an AND gate. And like I said, all we've done is invert the output. Uh, you might want to use this. Let's say uh, we've got a two by two flush piston door here. Um, I've got a tutorial for this. So I'll put it up in the top right hand corner for you. Now, for the door to be closed, uh, you, it needs to have a signal. So uh, rather than using the AND gate, we use the NAND gate. And that way, the only time the, uh, the doors open is when input one and input two is activated. Simple. Just uh, the output is inverted from an AND gate. As you can see here, here's the truth table. And uh, we get an output signal unless both input one and input two are active. Uh, we can show you here with these lights. Input one, input two, active. And we don't get an output. Very simple to build. Three blocks, again. Torch on top of each block and redstone in the middle. These blocks are your inputs. Put a lever there, lever there. And uh, this middle block is your output. Stick a redstone lamp for that. And uh, because uh, both input one and input two are not active, we've got a signal. As soon as they're both active, we get no signal. And basically, yeah, it's just the output of the AND gate inverted. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.